happening now, the Supreme Court is taking up a case that affects more than 40 million Americans. It's about federal student loans and whether President Biden has the power to forgive them. In August, the president announced a plan to cancel $10,000 for those under a certain income limit. That limit is $125,000 a year for individuals and $100, excuse me, $250,000 for couples. Pell Grant recipients, who are often from low-income families, can get up to $20,000 forgiven. That plan is on hold right now as the Supreme Court hears arguments this morning. But cameras are not allowed inside the court, so we've been listening in. At several points, the conservative justices who dominate the court 6-3 to three, grilled the lawyer for President Biden. Chief Justice John Roberts asked whether a plan as large as this should involve Congress since it's expected to cost $400 billion. Most casual observers would say if you're going to give up that much amount of money, if you're going to affect the obligations of that many Americans on a subject that's of great controversy, they would think that's something for Congress to act on. And if they haven't acted on it, then maybe that's a good lesson to say for the uh, p uh, president or, or the um, uh, administrative bureaucracy that maybe that's not something they should undertake on their own. A final decision is expected by this summer. For now, federal student loan repayments are on hold. A Pearl Harbor survivor and retired Navy flight engineer has died at the age of 101. Jack Holder was on duty at Fort Island when the Japanese bombed the naval base. He narrowly survived when he dove into a ditch to avoid gunfire. Holder went on to fly more than 100 missions during the war, including at the Battle of Midway. After retirement, he shared the history of Pearl Harbor and spoke regularly at museums and schools. Holder will be laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. Jan Fruits, enoki mushrooms are being recalled due to potential listeria contam contamination. Listeria can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections, as well as headaches, fevers, and nausea. No illnesses have been reported in connection with the recall so far. The products are sold here in Hawaii. They come in a seven ounce clear plastic packaging with the description, Taiwan best quality enoki natural mushroom. Now, if you have any, throw them out or take them back to get a full refund. We're more concerned with the next few days, right? We're talking about very windy conditions today and tomorrow. Remember that wind advisory is on until tomorrow. It could be extended through Thursday. We're expecting the winds to hold firm on Thursday, slowly weaken over the weekend. And as those winds back down, we'll likely see fewer showers. We will see generous amounts of passing showers, but the good thing is flooding is not likely because the rain will be moving out quite quickly. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.